Welcome everyone. Shabbat Shalom. So good to see you. Good to welcome you. This is uh, Refugee Shabbat. And that's uh, it's a topic that actually touches me close to home. My dad was born a, a refugee, first in Russia, then in the German refugee camps for the first four years of his life. So I know the power when Israel finally said, Shalom, come, come, come live here. It was amazing. So as, as we join so many synagogues across North America, uh, marking Refugee Shabbat with Hayas. You'll hear more about that. Please have your voices join theirs to send anyone who's uh, dealing with persecution, fleeing from persecution, a warm shalom welcome. Please join me. Easy melody, just shalom. Refugee Shabbat, we honor those who are in search of home. And it is Shabbat. And so we take a moment to think of all of us who are in search of God. And I would like to share this reading with you. Not every day do we encounter God. Not every time is opportune for prayer. Not every hour one of grace. We turn back only to lose our way once more and go in search of forgotten paths. But God is holding a candle and looking for all who wander, all who search. And so we light our Shabbat candles together. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu Melech HaOlam, Asher Kidshanu B'mitzvotav Betzivanu Lahadlik Ner Shel Shabbat. Baruch Ata Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, asher kitshanu b'mitzvotav, v'tzivanu, lehad likner, lehad likner, shel shabbat. I've been doing a lot of reading lately. And Reb Jen and I love to read poetry and we pass it back and forth between each other. And so I found another one that I would like to share as we welcome the Sabbath bride. The sun on the treetops no longer is seen. Come gather to welcome the Sabbath, our queen. Behold her descending the holy, the blessed, and with her the angels of peace and rest. Draw near, draw near, and here abide. Draw near, draw near, O Sabbath bride. Peace also to you, angels of peace. We sing Mahadodi together. Le- 
Shabbat shalom As we come here tonight virtually to celebrate this Shabbat, we dance and we sing, even with our teddy bears in our arms. But I thought that it would be a nice thing for us tonight to revert back to what is familiar and what we are used to. And so I'm going to share my screen now with a page from our Temple Israel prayer book and invite you in your places to read responsively with me. We are young, our experiences few. We are older veterans of life's teachings. We have endured great adversity. We have been untouched by tragedy. We are married, we are single. We are Jews of many varied traditions. We are different from one another and yet we are one. Having traveled many different roads, our separate journeys have led us all to this sacred place in our lives. As united by tradition and by faith, we raise our voices in celebration and song. We continue now with our call to worship, the Baruch Hu.
mother's prayer. I hope that the day never comes that I will need to flee my country in pursuit of safety or a better life. I pray that if I do, it's not as a result of violence and that we don't have to leave our lives behind with nothing but a bag and any remaining family members by our side. If circumstances ever forced us to flee, I hope we are not called animals and treated as subhuman criminals simply because we want to live. Should it be so dire that we are forced to separate from our children with the hope they would find a better, safer life? If it were so bad that I would rather they leave me, go on their own in a new country with nothing but faith and hope in their pocket, I hope the world will care for my priceless children and not discard them or simply let them fall through the cracks. The prayer was written by Elizabeth Tambascio. And as we join together now, unified, we are one people, brothers and sisters, mothers and fathers, daughters and sons, and we pray to God with one voice and with one heart. Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai Echad 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 Baruch Shem Kavod Shem Kavod Malchuto Le'olam Ba'ed Baruch Shem Kavod Shem Kavod Malchuto Adonai Elohecha Bechol of Avcha Bechol Nafshecha Ubechol Meodecha Vehayu Hadvarim Haela Asher Anochi Mitzavecha Hayom Aleva Vecha Vishinan Tam Levanecha Vidibar Tabam Vishiv Techa Bevetacha Uvlech techa va derech, uv shoch becha, uv kumecha. Ukshar tam leot al yadecha, viha yulatota fot, bene necha. Uch tav tam, al mizuzot betecha, uvisha recha. Leman tizkeru vasitem et komitz votai, vitem kiroshim leloechem. Ahani Adonai Elohechem Asher hotzeit yatchem eretz mitzrayim Lihiot lachem Elohim Ahani Adonai Elohechem We've come to the part of our service during which we sing the Micha Mocha, a prayer that celebrates the Israelites' freedom from slavery. It was first sung on the shores of the Red Sea as the Israelites began their journey towards the Promised Land. And so as we celebrate this refugee Shabbat, I share this poem written by Rabbi Ahuva Zaks, The Mixed Multitude. They weren't Israelites, our neighbors down the way, but they were slaves like us. I asked their son if he could keep a secret. He nodded. So I told him what my mother told me. We're leaving Egypt tomorrow, all of us. Pharaoh has abused us long enough and we're not gonna take it anymore. I've already packed my bag. There's actually nothing in it except a day's supply of matzah. We don't have time or money for anything more. Can I come too, asked the neighbor boy. I'll ask my mom, I said. Instead of a simple yes or no, I got a whole lecture. But my mother is right. 
your freedom is the same as my freedom. Yes, we are all in this together. We cannot march to the promised land alone. Together, now we sing these words of freedom. Mikamoha ba eri madonai, mikamoha nedar va kodesh. Mikamoha ba eri madonai, mikamoha nedar va kodesh. Nora tehi lo o sefele, Nora tehi lo. O sefele Adonai Yimloch de olam vahel Mahute hara uvanecha O keah yam lifne moshe Ze elianu ve ameru Ze elianu ve ameru Adonai Yimloch de olam Ya This Shabbat reminds me of when I was a student rabbi in Juneau, Alaska, now more than 25 years ago. And uh, people used to say to me, I didn't know they were Jews in Alaska. And my standard response was, there are Jews everywhere. Isn't it amazing how we have made our way to every corner of this planet? There are differences between us to be sure, different customs, different foods, different melodies, but as Jews, there's so much more that we share and we have in common. And primary among them is Shabbat, this day of rest, day of possibility, day in which we get a little taste of the hope of the future, where our differences are celebrated and we are truly unified as one Jewish people. We sing together now our song for Shabbat, Bishamra. <laughs> Vishamru bene Israel et hashabat la aso et hashabat le dorotam berito lam sing that with me now Vishamru bene Israel et hashabat la aso et hashabat le dorotam berito lam beni Uvein b'nei Yisrael, oti le'olam v'shameru v'shameru b'nei Yisrael et hashabat la'asot et hashabat le'dorotam v'herito olam kisheshet. Yamim Asa Adonai Et Hashemayim Ve'et Ha'aretz V'shamru V'shamru B'nei Yisrael Et Hashabat La'asot Et Hashabat Le'dorotam Ve'erito Olam U'vayom Hashvi'i Shavat, Vayinah Fash, Shavat, 
Vaina Fash, you know what to do, Visham Rubene Israel, get Hashaba, La Aso, get Hashaba, the Dorota, very tola, last time we're singing Visham Rubene Israel, get Hashaba, La Aso, get Hashaba, the Dorota. Very cool. At this moment in our service, we prepare for the Amida, the central prayer of our worship time together. I want to share this poem by Heather Paul because I think it prepares us for this time in our Shabbat worship service better than other prayers in this moment. God, you scattered the divine sparks so that we may find them in each other. But sometimes we forget to look. We are your glistening fragments, your shards, your stars. We stand here before you, ready to gather the sparks, ready to illuminate the world like one holy campfire. We may be scattered, shattered, but we will glow together, grow together. We will see each other shine. And maybe then, dear God, we will finally be ready for peace. Baruch Adonai, Mevarech et kol ha'olam b'shalom. Blessed are you, O God, who blesses the world with peace. We continue now with Avot. Adonai, sefatai tiftach ufi agite hilatecha. Eternal God, open my lips that my mouth may declare your glory. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu velohe avoteinu vimoteinu. Elohe Abraham, Elohe Yitzchak, Elohe Yaakov. Elohe Sarah, Elohe Rivka, Elohe Leah velohe Rachel. Ha'el ha'gadol ha'gibor ve'hanora El elion gomel chasadim tovim ve'kone ha'kol Ve'zoche chaste avot ve'imahot U'me'evi ge'ula l'ibne v'nehem L'ma'an shemo be'ahava Melech ozer u'moshia u'magen Baruch atah Adonai, Magen Avraham, Bezrat Sarah. Atah gibor le'olam Adonai, Mechaye hakol atah rav lehoshia. Mechal kel chayim bechesed, Mechaye hakol berachamim rabim. Somech noflim verofech olim. Umati rasurim, umekayem emunato, lishene afar, michamocha bagevurot, umidomelach, melech me mit, umekaye, umat miach yeshua, nemanata lahachayot hakol. Baruch atah Adonai, mechaye hakol. Atah kadosh v'shimecha kadosh, gershim b'chol yom yihalu chasela. Baruch atah Adonai, ha'el hakadosh. We pray silently. Oh, 
עין אצור לשונים מרע, ושפתיים ידבר ממה. ידין קל אליי נפשי תדור, ונפשי כעפר לכל תהיה אלוהי, אלוהי. Shabbat is our prayer of healing for those who are lost or in pain. The Mishabei Rachan this Shabbat is our prayer of healing for those who are facing serious medical challenges. The Mishabei Rach is our prayer of healing for those whose hearts are broken. The Mishabei Rach is our prayer of healing for those who are far from home. searching for safety and security. Please join in the singing of the Misha Berach. Misha Berach Avoteinu Kor ha-berakha V'imoteinu May the source of strength Who blessed the ones before us Help us find the courage To make our lives a blessing And let us say Bless those in need of healing With Rufua Shilema The renewal of body the renewal of spirit, and let us say Amen. Shabbat Shalom, everyone. So Purim is over, and it was time for me to take out my Haggadah and begin planning our Passover Seder. More important this year because for the very first time, we are inviting all of you, all of the members of our congregation into our homes, into the rabbis and cantors' homes for the first night of Seder, knowing that there are many of you that still cannot be with the families and friends that you love. So I open up my Haggadah, and of course it opens to the one phrase that I always find enigmatic. My father was a wandering Aramean. What does that mean? 
And so I decided this year, because all of you will be in my home with me uh, for the Seder, maybe I should actually prepare and do some research. And I found that um, it's really not as difficult as I thought, because it turns out that Abraham and Sarah, our forefather and foremother, were from Padam Aram. And so one might interpret this to mean that our father, our ancestors, Abraham and Sarah, were wandering Arameans. They were nomads, if you will. And they, and they were known for opening up their tent to strangers for hospitality. So this past week, I received a call from a gentleman in Connecticut who informed me that he was my second cousin twice removed. And we began playing a little Jewish geography. He asked me some questions. And then he said, you know, I knew your grandfather, Paul. And we used to gather at your grandparents' house. And Paul was an amazing human being. He entertained everyone. He philosophized. He told stories. He made everyone feel welcome. Sometimes there were 30 cousins. We were all eating borscht and, and cabbage and stuffed cabbage and so on. And, but your grandfather, he was really a special person in my life. And it got me to thinking about what would have happened if my grandfather, Paul, had not had the opportunity to flee Russia ahead of the conscription into the Russian army, which in those days was both a life sentence and a death sentence, if he had not been able to immigrate to this land of freedom. And I think what would have happened if there had not been a highest, a Hebrew immigrant aid society to help him and my grandmother get started. They actually started with a, um, a, a newspaper route in Brooklyn and they saved up enough uh, shekels to buy a small, uh, like a soda fountain store in a park slope where my daughter now lives, by the way, and eventually to buy an apartment building. What would have happened if there had not been a highest to start them into their new life? And so instead of talking this evening about the many very difficult issues of immigration, I thought I would share with you three of the wandering Arameans who have made an impact on my life and really inform my thinking when I do think of immigration and immigration policy. The first was my grandfather, Paul, of blessed memory. And by the way, that is why I was named by a rabbi and a Jewish educator after a Christian saint, because it was my, my grandfather, uh, Pavel or Paul. My second wandering Aramean, so my mother, is, as many of you have heard, was a leading social, uh, Soviet Jewry activist. And when that sort of subsided, uh, she got very involved in bringing other immigrants to this country, most especially during the Vietnam Vietnamese boat people crisis. And uh, she helped set people up in these, uh, these poor people. They were, just, they were just fleeing from the most horrible uh, oppression. And she helped set them up in, in jobs and in homes. They should get cars donated and so on. But one family they couldn't find a home for. And so they came to live with us for a few months. And the man's name was Trong. And he, was, he came with his elderly uh, mother. And my mother was able to find him a job in a local factory doing menial work because he had no English. Um, and they, as I said, they lived with us and eventually she found them a car and, um, and Trong actually ended up doing very well. He found a beautiful wife. He, um, he, he was hired by the, a casino in Atlantic City who found that his lack of English was not a deficit, but rather an advantage because they figured that without English, he would be less likely to conspire with the customers to cheat the house. And so he actually did quite well. And one, the first Thanksgiving after they came to America, we are sitting around our uh, Thanksgiving table. We're smelling the, the, the aroma of the turkey baking in the kitchen. And suddenly there's a knock at the door, four o'clock, right before dinner. And, uh, and in walks Trong with a huge frozen turkey as a gift to us. 
we didn't have the heart to tell him that we already had a turkey in the oven and that it would take at least 24 hours to, to, to thaw the, the turkey that he had brought. We actually gave it to charity. But every single Thanksgiving from that time on until my mother died many years later, Tron would knock on the door on Thanksgiving and bring us a frozen turkey. And that frozen turkey meant more to me, I think, than, than all of the, the beautifully prepared ones that uh, we ate and enjoyed. The third wandering Aramean I want to introduce you to tonight is also named Yedwab. Um, I haven't met him yet either. Uh, this is my great, 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 great grandson. Uh, let's call him Yankala Yedwab. And um, Yankala grew up in a, grows up in a Jewish home uh, the son of my great, great, great grand, uh, grand, grandchild. And also his mother was a Jew by choice, is a Jew by choice, will be a Jew by choice. Um, unfortunately in Yankala's uh, situation, anti-Semitism arises in his land and he is forced to flee to the land of Israel. And actually this story has a very happy ending. Yankala flees to Israel uh, is accepted with open arms into our, into our land of, of refuge, uh, finds a nice Sabra to marry, raises a family, and lives happily ever after. Now, Yankala's story has a happy ending because of an event that happened way, way, way back in his past. In fact, this very week in 2021, when the Israeli Supreme Court decided to uphold the, the, the place of Israel as a refuge for all Jews by declaring that that the uh, converts, that the Jews by choice that are converted by reform and conservative rabbis are included in the law of return and do have a place in our holy land, in our homeland. Um, Israel traditionally is our land of refuge. It is the place that we can go to be safe, no matter what is happening in the world. It's the, it's the reason that the end of the Passover Seder, we say next year in Jerusalem, that is the place of Israel in our lives. And you know what, I want, to, I want to end this sermon with a celebration of the fact that the Israeli Supreme Court has made Yankala's story a happy ending. Friends, I don't know what your politics are. And I don't know how you feel about whichever administration's policies you are critiquing or praising. But for me, what I would ask is that you think of it not as politics, but as people. And this Passover Seder, I am going to ask you that during that, that section where you read about the wandering Aramean, that you tell the stories to your children and to your grandchildren about the wandering Arameans in your history. And you help them understand that we are all wandering Arameans. We are all strangers in a strange land. And we do have a sacred obligation to see the welcoming of strangers, just like Abraham and Sarah in our Bible, the original wandering Arameans, that we have the obligation to open our tents and to welcome the strangers with love and graciousness. And perhaps they'll bring you a turkey someday. Shabbat Shalom. In the garden there's a tree Planted by someone Who only imagined me What love, what vision I marvel at the gift No fruit could be sweeter than this I'm standing on the shoulders Of the ones who came before me My people went from land to land. Something passed from hand to hand. And it isn't just the words and stories of the ancient lost and golden glory. Study 
the book we study. It's the way we study. The way. I'm standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. I'm standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. Today my life is full of joy Because a young man raised his voice Because a young girl took a chance I am That's come to me. I'm standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. I'm standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. So in the garden I'll plant a seed, a tree of life for you to read. The fruit will ripen in the sun, the words will sound when I am the book and the song. I'm standing on the shoulders of the ones who came before me. I'm standing on that song and how it really like reinforces to me how I too stand on the shoulders of those who've come before me. And as we turn to the end of our service and we remember those who we have loved and lost, that, that sentiment just rings really true. And on this refugee Shabbat, we remember those like Rabbi Yedwab's grandfather, Paul, and like Tron and like my own grandfather, Oscar, who came to this country in search of a better life. And we remember those who sacrificed for us so that we could have a better life. And those who simply made our lives better because they were part of our lives. And so we remember them with love, knowing that they are always part of us in our memory. At this time, we remember those who've died in the period of slow shame the last 30 days. Stephen Barron, Dana Berman, Eleanor Fitzerman, Goldalee Geitz, Gilbert Gladstone, Mickey Golden, Cy Goodman, Charles Herskovitz, Sammy Cohen Cow, Judith Kravitz, Ralph Levin, Bernice Linden, Helen Broadley Reagans, Robert Bob Reed, Bernard Bob Rivkin, Paul Rustman, Melissa Saperstein, Andy Scully, Ilo Seidman, Edgar Simons, Robert Solomon, Adele Stern, Adeline Stern, Sam Tolchin, Dr. Richard Williams, Eleanor Falwolf. 
And to that, their names, we add those whose yard sites fall at this time. Jack Atchman, Lorraine Alcon, Rena and Standig, Karen Arts, Rose Baker, Stanley Bass, Everett Barrett, Abraham Barish, Jocelyn Berman, Lewis Berman, Francis Borson, Arthur Brickner, Rita Budd, Inez Kane, Irving Kane, Jenny Cooper, John Allen Davies, Estelle Gross Delinka, Sandra Ellenstein, Florence Feldman, Selma Feldman, Herman Fiddler, Max Fisher, Joe Nathan Folks, Marvin Gad, Stephanie Goldberg, Tilly Goldfarb, Sandy Goose, Lydia Gray, Anita Heyman, Joyce Hodes, James Kissick, Marilyn Klein, Abe Commissar, Eugene Kramer, Eve Leeds, Alvin Levine, Anne Ruth Linsky, Sarah Lipschutz, Peter Million, Harold Minowitz, Helen Neshkis, Elaine Phillips, Emil Phillips, Jim Ratner, Betty Repertor, Howard Robinson, Mark Robinson, George Rossman, Gary Schlossberg, Annette Serling, Rhoda Shames, Esther Scher, Irving Saporin, Max Saporin, Robert Stern, Fred Stocker, Joyce Yale, Carrie Weitzman, Stephen Zack, Donna J. Zatkin, Dr. David Zeff, Jacqueline Zimmerman. May their souls be bound up in the bond of everlasting life and memory as we turn now to the words of the Kaddish. Yid Gadal v'yikadash shemei rabah ve'alma divra chirute v'yamlich malchute v'chayechon uv'yomechon uv'chayeducho beit Yisrael v'agala uv'yizman kari v'yimru amen yehei shemei rabah mevorach le'olam ome omaya yid barach v'yishtabach v'yit pa'ar v'yit romam v'yit nase v'yit hadar v'yit ale v'yit alal shemei dekud shabarichu Laela min ko birchata vishirata, Tushbachata vinechamata, Damiran be alma vim ru amen. Yehe shlama rabba min shemaya, the chayim alenu ve al ko Israel vim ru amen. O se shalom bim romav, who ya se shalom, alenu ve al ko Israel vim ru amen. In the source of peace and peace to all who mourn and comfort to all who are bereaved among us. Amen. We wish everyone Shabbat Shalom. And after this beautiful service with all these messages from our rabbis, I guess the last thing to say is, remember, it doesn't stop there. Please take time in the future to go to Hayes' website and see the amazing work they're doing, the amazing work our own reform movement is doing. And let's, uh, let's send ourselves out with that intention, with some good energy. With an ego and join me. Yai la 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 Yai la 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 Yai la 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 Yai la 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 Yai la 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 Yai la 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 Thank you.
la 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 la, ya el la la, Shabbat Shalom.